right, watch fans. I got another one from AliExpress. This is a fun one. Uh, not a super serious watch, but pretty inexpensive, so we'll see. Uh, it is a... An AliExpress Chinese LED watch. So... I could find out nothing about the name um, or the company that made this, so quite honestly, I can't do a video, um, a separate video on it because <laughs> there's there's really no company name attached to it. I have to just assume it is a generic company. Um, oh my god, look at that! It's totally dead. That's oh, there we go. Look at that! All right, gotta set it. Okay, now I see. <laughs> All right. So this is super cool. I will tell you, I actually really do like, and I don't know how well it shows up. Uh, LED, I know, can sometimes, because it, it's a light-emitting diode, it, it flashes multiple times, so it may not show up very well on the camera. But just so you can kind of get an idea. Um, this watch uh, I got on AliExpress, I think it was about $20. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show, I'll put that right up here. Um, MSRP in most places, uh, it lists for $39, but it is definitely not. I see it going for as low as 15 in some places after I'd already purchased it. It certainly is a fun, cool watch. Um, nothing that I think would be taken too seriously. Like, I'm not even sure how you would wear it. Let's see. I guess, is this the right way? And so interestingly, you can't even really size it. So this is just, it just automatically fits for me. Okay, so that's upside down. So I'd have to put it on this way. So not too bad. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I'd hit it like that and be like, yeah, cool. Um, so LED watches were a huge fad in, I would say the late seventies, early eighties. And I have several, uh, almost none of which actually work. Um, but they just, they just don't last very long, unfortunately. Let's see, I've got a couple here. Um, that I will show you. I've got one from MKE, which was a really popular one for the time. I've got, um, I don't know, whoever makes that, you can kind of see. And this is one from Quasar, which was one of the more nicer ones. Unfortunately, gosh, none of them work. I mean, it's really tough to get these to keep working. Usually the contacts go bad and, and they just fail. Uh, but you know, recently with how cheap things are being made now, uh, a lot of these styles are starting to come back and, you know, with, uh, I don't know what you call them, hipsters, I guess people that are more interested in sort of things that were uh, from the time, uh, they're starting to now purchase these things. Uh, but you can get these in a variety of different colors and I'll put them up here so you can kind of see. Uh, you can get it in black. There's the silver color that I have uh, and there's a couple other colors which I will post if I can find it. Uh, interestingly enough, they are, many ads are referring to this watch as the Iron Man watch. Now, that's not to be confused with, uh, was it the Casio Iron Man, the Timex Iron Man, which referred to somebody like, uh, that was really physically in good shape, but instead referring to um, the Iron Man movie, uh, the, the superhero, <laughs> which I'm not sure I really understand, and I don't know where that designation came from. It doesn't really look at all anything related to Iron Man, but, uh, you know, it just, it is what it is. I guess they thought it was kind of interesting, uh, and they would thought it would be a good marketing ploy, so that's what they did. There were some real gems in this one. Uh, <laughs> the first, the first one that I enjoyed was this one, Never Settle, and again, there's the Iron Man, a uh, picture of Iron Man, and it says, young and full of dreams, we see unlimited possibilities. Remember and go with courage. So I don't know who we is. Is that like I ourselves or the young people? Uh, how do they know that I'm young? And remember and go with courage. Okay, this watch will help me do it, I suppose. And then this one was great. Um, <clears throat> this one's awesome. <laughs> it reminds me of some of the other ones. Uh, and uh, I, I'll have to... Uh, I'm going to have to make a separate video just on advertisements because these are some of the best. But, and again, I, I feel bad making fun of them, right? 
but I, I don't give them any credit here because what does it take for you to just uh, pay somebody 20 bucks and say, hey, can you review this? Give you 20 bucks. Let me know if this looks bad. Like the best gift to family. Do not forget the family love. Okay, I don't know what an Iron Man, fake Iron Man watch has to do with uh, family love or it being a gift to anyone else in my family because quite frankly nobody cares or the best gift to friend um you know my friend might think it's kind of funny but um uh thank him for helping you in life maybe it was a girl that that that's helped me in life i, I don't know um the best gift to lover retain your best moments i can assure you that my wife will have absolutely no interest in this iron man watch uh, i can i can be quite sure of that and the best gift to yourself, nice to yourself, enjoy life. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, it's cool. I did buy it. Uh, the best dress with popular elements. It is kind of cool. I, I got to admit, it's growing on me. You know, I do kind of like it. I don't know if it improves my clothing taste, though, but whatever. Um, let's see. What else can I talk about it? So, not too much on the movement. I will take it apart, and I will post videos right up there. Um and uh, pictures so you can kind of see what the inside is like it is just a standard uh led uh movement if you can even call it a movement it's not really a movement just a, a quartz uh, it's quartz powered this is some sort of a chrome vanadium uh or a it's, it's not stainless steel this is like a, a low quality steel that's then been chromed and plated uh, using conventional methods um this is aluminum and the rest of it is some sort of a coated steel. Uh, obviously, it's not the highest quality. It is what it is. This isn't something that you would buy as a family heirloom. This is something that you'd buy with the expectation that it wouldn't last for more than, uh, I don't know, a week. There is a piece of glass on here. It's a mirrored glass. Uh, I suppose that it likely has the inversion um, lens that's used for a lot of these old LCD watches, although this is LED. Uh, and it doesn't even clean up very well either, so I'm not even really sure. It's just poor quality, I suppose. It's not coated, but um, it's hard to even... I don't even know why there's water spots on it, but the, but there are. That's You saw me open it, so it is what it is. Um, all right, well, let's get into some of the weight so we can just see. It's a little heavy. I'm expecting this to be, I don't know, 150 grams. I'm pretty close. So 142, 142 grams. Um, my wrist is seven and a half. And this, or about seven and a quarter between seven and a half. And this watch is exactly as I got it. Uh, as you know, I could probably adjust it slightly. I could take out one link. So this watch is probably not, this, this watch would not do well for somebody who had a, anything larger than probably a seven and a half to seven and three quarter inch wrist eight would really be pushing it you wouldn't really be able to adjust it i mean this is this is moderately acceptable i think i might remove i might not even remove one link because i think it might make it too tight but uh, no i could i could remove one link and it would be acceptable um Let's see, what else can I talk about this? Let's show it at night, there's not much to show. Obviously it's just an, just an LED, but it should be kind of cool. All right, so definitely bright. Um, and of course the way it works is, it only stays on for a couple seconds, otherwise it would kill the battery. So you wear it like this, and then when you're ready, you hit the button, okay, 938, which it totally is not. Ah, but that's what you do, and there you go. There's two buttons. One is, the one on the left is for setting it, and I guess I can set it now. You know what? I might as well just do it. Okay. Let's see. Pretty easy. So left turns on to setting, and there's really not much to this watch. Um, oh, look. You can actually set the uh, the month and, and year. Okay, let's see. That's, yep, so that's month. So I'll set it to, what is it, March? Okay. I think we are, it's the 19th. And, oh, the year, look at that. Okay, what the hell year are we? 2000, okay, we're 2021. 
12 hour. I just said 24 hour. Awesome. So there you go. Look at that. And so I don't know what, what I would do there. Oh, look at that. So the right button, I hit it a couple times. I can see the seconds, the, the day and month, and no year. Okay, interesting. Probably could have done that with the lights on, but I thought it was easier for you guys to see. So kind of cool. Uh, I, I like this watch. I'm not going to put too much effort into this video. Honestly, I'm in the middle of moving too, which is very sad. I will do a video on this workshop that I've built. I think you guys will appreciate it. Uh, it was a utility room in my garage, and I plumbed it, built in cabinets, air conditioning, but I'll show video of it later. Uh, I got a picture right here that I'll show you, which you can just see, my workbench at least. But I got all my tools, so it's a good time to sell a house. It is a bad time to buy a house, I'll tell you that. But thankfully, I have a good house to sell, uh, and now I just have to find a good house to buy. So we'll see. All right. If you like this video, and especially if you want to see more watches like these from Alibaba and other places, please let me know. This isn't really my forte, but, you know, sometimes if I see a watch that I kind of like, that I find interesting or fun, I'll buy it. I don't really take these too seriously. These are just uh, kitschy watches, and I buy them. But please leave comments in the, in the uh, comment section below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. And as always, please subscribe. Thank you very much.